Hi, I'm Sue Hanley, and I'm happy to make this little short video for the members of the European SharePoint community. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a hover message to the title of SharePoint Web Parts. So the hover message is what users see when they mouse over a link or a web part. And you can see here that I'm hovering over the calendar, and you can see in that hover message it just says calendar. Not particularly useful, not necessarily all that helpful, but at least it's not wrong. Sometimes you might want to use hover messages uh, to convey instructions or other really helpful information for your users, and other times you might want to look and see what you get out of the box and make sure it makes sense, and in that case you may want to delete it. For example, one of my clients uses hover messages on web parts and links to remind users about the security of a web part. So as you hover over a web part on the HR page, uh, the message actually says that this web part is visible only to managers. And while the title tells the users that the web part is private, this is just another way to reinforce that message. It's a little thing, but it helps users feel more confident and informed about the content and the experience on the site. So let me talk about how to edit them. So what you're looking at right here is basically an out-of-the-box team site where I've added a couple of web parts and changed the theme. Obviously, your sites are going to be a lot more interesting and engaging, but let's look at the hover messages. So for announcements, I've added a little hover message that says, News and Announcements for our team. You could see earlier that there was no hover message for the calendar, and what you're seeing is actually the um, name of the list or library that it's um, being called from that SharePoint will automatically add out of the box. Sometimes I'll add something like next five events, click calendar to see all upcoming events, and that's kind of helpful if the people who are using your site are relatively new to SharePoint. Now I've also added a content editor, and I know that you would never have a web part that says content editor in the title, so I changed my title to just say the word welcome. Pretty much everyone remembers to change the title of content editor web parts. But look what happens when I hover over the title. See what that says? Allows authors to enter rich text content. This makes me nuts when I see it on a site. Uh, this content, by the way, is coming from the web part description, which helps when you're adding the web part to your site because when you look at lists of web parts, that's tell, this tells you what that web part does. So it's really helpful for people who are creating sites. However, once you've used this web part, it's not particularly helpful for visitors. So I want to do I want to edit those web those hover messages so they either aren't there or at least they make sense. So there's a couple of different ways to add a hover message and you'll want to know both methods. So let's start with the one that drives me nuts and that's the content editor web part. Now there's no list or library behind a content editor web part. So the only way you can edit this one is to put the page in edit mode and edit the web part properties. So I'm assuming you know how to do that, but here we go. So we're going to go and edit the web part properties. Or you go to the web part properties, put the page in edit mode, and then here what we want to do is expand advanced in the web part properties and scroll down and see right here, there's the description. So you have a couple of options. I'm using IE, so if I wanted to get rid of it entirely, I could do that, and if I wanted to add some text uh, to, to this particular web part, I could do that here. Not particularly helpful or creative or ingenious, but you'll get the idea. So when you save this and then save your page, you can see that now when we hover over this message, it says, welcome, welcome to our site. So again, first thing you see is the title of the web part, and then you see the hover message. So now at least we have something that isn't um, going to confuse our users, or at least it partially makes sense. If the web part, however, is backed up by a list or library, uh, the default for the hover message is whatever you have in the description field for the list. So to edit that, or the easiest way to edit that, you can, of course, do it via the web part properties like I just showed you, but you can also just go to the settings for the list. And under general settings, look for list name, description, and navigation. And here you have an opportunity to update the hover message for that list or library.
if you're going to add a description to the list or library setting using this approach, you want to make sure that the message that you're adding is going to be helpful both for people who are adding new events or going to the list page or library page and in the hover message. So in this particular case, you might want to say something like shared calendar for our team. Something that will apply in all instances. And so then when you go back to the home page and hover over the calendar, you'll see what is this calendar in the context of our website. So what if you don't want the web part and the list to actually have the same hover message? No problem, because in that instance, you can go ahead and edit the web part properties for that list or library, just like we did for the content editor, and then they can have a different messages. So then SharePoint will no longer pick up what you have in the list description and put it in the hover message. And so for example, if what we really wanted this web part for the calendar to say is next five events, then what we would do is go ahead and edit the web part properties for the calendar. And in that case, um, the web part properties will essentially drive what the users see in the hover message and the description will not be part of what the user sees unless they're looking at the list um, from the backstage. So basically, you have two options when you've got a web part backed by a list or library. Edit the web part properties if you want the list, if you want the hover message to be different from what you see in the list description, or just edit the list description and then SharePoint will automatically use it in your web part hover message. So there's my trick, that's all it takes for adding meaningful hover messages, and I hope you find it helpful. Now before I go, I just want to add one little caveat. Since we're beginning to live in a mobile-first world, the hover message itself may be a bit of a dinosaur, because they typically don't work on mobile devices. But it's been a design staple for years, and at least for now, desktop non-touch devices are still the major way people access the web and the internet at work. And so while this specific tip might have a short shelf life, the concept behind it really doesn't. And that is, think about your users and their experience, and you can't go wrong. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching this video. Why not check out some more great how-to videos? Or subscribe to our YouTube channel for new videos as they're released.